slash vaccine. In the Lowcountry, local providers are scrambling to keep up with demand for the booster. WSAV's Andrew Davis talked to two of the agencies working to make sure those who are eligible can get a shot. He joins us now from our Lowcountry newsroom. Well, Moderna and Pfizer boosters are available for the people who qualify in various spots in the low country. But I quickly learned it may be some time before folks are able to walk into a pharmacy or clinic and walk out with that vaccination. Right now we're about four weeks uh, for an appointment. And people are willing to wait to get their booster from Burke's Pharmacy on Hilton Head Island. The local provider is giving about 150 shots a day, mostly boosters, the same amount of vaccines they were providing at the peak of COVID. This is the prudent, proper, you know, thing that I should do at this point. I don't want to. Uh, be sorry, I didn't. The boosters are by appointment only, and the list, as you see, is long. David Burke says people aren't just coming in for COVID anymore. The pandemic has put a spotlight on all possible health help. People um, are more in tune now to immunizations, and they have thought more about preventative health. I would agree we have done more immunizations in the last year than the last 10. We'll deal with the immunocompromised with all the, the paperwork that we need to do, but most importantly is get that appointment. Kind of like the initial run is that people want whatever they can to protect themselves. Russell Baxley, CEO of Buford Memorial Hospital, says about 350 people are coming to the two-day-a-week vaccination clinics. As the website shows, appointments don't start until October 5th. Baxley says his staff is ready to protect everyone who signs on. We've seen how contagious the Delta variant is. You know, I, I think the, the science shows that, you know, this third shot does boost immunity um, uh, in the 65 and older, the immunocompromised. Uh, and I think anything we can do to continue to prevent uh, hospitalizations from COVID-19, which is the key here. Now, CVS and Walgreens are also working on getting booster vaccines for those who qualify. Hilton at Hospital and Coastal Carolina Hospital just for their own employees. Right now, Buford Memorial has 30 COVID positive patients in the hospital, eight of those in the intensive care unit. All of those serious patients are unvaccinated. The hospital's working with DHEC to add a Saturday vaccination clinic day so folks who work will have another option to keep themselves safe. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3, on your side. Andrew, thank you. They may